Hi, my name is Gerald Simon. I am the founder of Music Motivation and the creator of the Cool Songs Club. And right now, we are going to do a fun piano fundamental, as I refer to it, where I teach a music theory concept to help you learn how to play music theory the fun way. So right now, I'm going to show you what we're going to talk about in this video lesson where I'm going to teach you how to sound like a modal jazz musician in minutes. And it's very, very simple to do. I'll explain the theory, but let me show you what we're going to be working on today. I think you'll like this. Now, it's pretty simple, and it sounds much more difficult than it really is. So, to begin playing modal jazz, now, I usually teach students the modes, and we will briefly discuss the modes. I don't want to have this be a very intense music theory lesson, but I teach students to learn how to play the modes, and when you think about modes, think of it as moods. Are you in a happy mood? Are you in a sad mood? Are you in a mood that maybe creates a little suspense? Okay, because chords and modes both create moods and feelings and emotions. And it's a great way to think about playing the piano. Now, when I'm teaching modes, I will tell them to think of a scale within a scale. If I play from C to C, that is my C major scale. Very simple, C major scale, I play C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I essentially am going from one starting point to the other starting point where I'm beginning and ending on the same exact note, in this case, C to C. Now, I teach students the modes and I won't tell you a whole lot about it in this video. I have other tutorials where I teach them, but essentially I tell them to learn the modes Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. Now, if it sounds like I'm speaking a foreign language to you, it kind of sounds Greek to you, it's because essentially those are foreign languages because we are actually playing scales within a scale. Let me show you what I mean. If I go from C to C, that is technically C Ionian. If I go from D to D and I'm playing the D major scale, that would be D Ionian, where I have F sharp and C sharp. But if I take my third and my seventh intervals and go down half a step, I'm playing all white keys from D to D. So in this case, my F sharp and C sharp go down half a step and I play F natural and C natural. So if I play D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, 
that is D, Dorian. Now remember we said Ionian? Ionian, think of it like the starting point. Well, I tell students to memorize the phrase, I don't play like my Aunt Louise. Imagine you have an aunt named Louise and she is amazing. She's phenomenal on the piano. She can play anything and you don't know how she does it. So say the words, I don't play like my Aunt Louise. I is Ionian. We're only playing white keys here from C to C. Don't, Dorian, I play from D to D, only white keys. I don't play Phrygian from E to E, I have all white keys as well. F to F, we have Lydian, I don't play like. Mixolydian is the next. I don't play like my Mixolydian. Now I'm just briefly describing the names. I won't get too technical in this. I have a, a book I came out with, An Introduction to Scales and Modes, where I get more technical. I just want you to understand the basic theory behind this. So I don't play like my Aunt Aeolian. Louise Locrian. Now I go from B to B, all white keys, and that is the Locrian mode. And then I'm back to Ionian again. So, a brief, brief introduction to the modes. But what I want you to do is to play seventh chords. And what we're going to do is we're going to start on C. And just think of it like this. We have C, E, G, B. This is a C major seventh chord. Well, I'm going to shift my hand to the right. Now, if you notice, I have four notes. So I have C, E, G, and B. But I'm going to move to the right each time where I have D, F, A, C is the second one. Now, you don't have to remember the names of these chords for this video, but this is C major seventh. Then we go to D minor seventh, D, F, A, C. Then we slide to the right again, and we're going to play E minor seventh, E, G, B, D. Slide to the right again. Now we're going to play F major 7th, F, A, C, E. Slide to the right again. Now we're going to play a G 7th, G, B, D, F. Slide to the right again. Now we're going to play A, C, E, G. This is an A minor 7th chord. Slide to the right again. Now we're going to play B minor 7 flat the 5th chord, B, D, F, A. Slide to the right again. Now we're going to play a C major 7th chord, C, E, G, B. Both hands together, C major 7th, D minor 7th, D, F, A, C, E minor 7th, E, G, B, D, F major 7th, F, A, C, E, G 7th, G, B, D, F, A minor 7th, A, C, E, G, B minor 7 flat to 5th, B, D, F, A, C major 7th, C, E, G, B. Now for fun, all I want you to do after this video, I want you to be able to take those chords and with the left hand play it blocked, with the right hand break it apart, play it broken. Watch this. Now I'm swinging the 8th notes a little bit where we have kind of a long, short, Long, short, long, short, long, short, long. So I'm swinging the eighth notes a bit. But what I'm going to do, my left hand, I'm just holding down that chord. And my right hand, I'm breaking apart the chord with my right hand. And I'm going to think of these, instead of thinking 
C major 7th, D minor 7th, E minor 7th, F major 7th. I want you to think of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Watch. 1, 2, and again, it's because I'm counting where the bottom note is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So 1, C major 7th. 2, D minor 7th. 3, E minor 7th. 4, F major 7th. 5, G 7th. 6, A minor 7th, 7, B minor 7 flat 5th, 8, C major 7, which is the same thing as 1. What I'm going to do is break them apart. Left hand play a blocked chord, all the notes played together, right hand break it apart, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out random numbers 1 through 8. I'm intentionally going to avoid the 7th, just because when you start playing the Locrian mode, it sounds pretty weird. It's created from a diminished triad, sometimes I refer to it as a demented triad, where it has that really dark sound. If you're creating a sci-fi movie or a scary Halloween thriller, go for it. But if you're creating something that sounds happy and upbeat and positive, you may not want to use that chord. So for right now I'm going to avoid the seven, but I'm just going to call it random numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, or eight, and with my left hand, I'm going to play the blocked chord. With my right hand, I'm going to play the broken chord. Try this. One. Three. Four. Two. Five. Six. Four. Two, three, one. Now, I'm just going to do that, and I'll, I won't call out the numbers now, but I'm going to play any order. Watch what happens. Now if you want to take it to the next level, all you have to do is think of a five note pentascale, C, D, E, F, G. Slide it to the right on D, E, F, G, A, B, and try playing just those five notes moving up like this. Now, try to add the left hand and just go up to the right. I'll swing the eighth notes. Watch this. So now, what if I called out 1, 3, 2, 4, 5, just random numbers, and did that with the right hand while the left hand is playing a blocked chord? I'm going to call out 1, then I'll go up to 4, then I'll go to 2, then I'll go to 3, and then I'll go to 5. Watch this.
Now I'm going to combine what I did with the pentascales and I'm going to go back and forth from doing the pentascales and then just doing a broken chord. Watch this. It's very, very simple. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. It's a simple way to begin sounding like a modal jazz musician in minutes. Now, once you can do that in the key of C, then you can do it in any key signature. If I took, as an example, a D minor seventh chord with my left hand, and I took the pentascale, the D minor pentascale with my right hand, and then I played around with it, I would have this. Or if I took the D minor 7th chord with my right hand and broke it apart, it would sound like this. What if I did an F minor 7th chord? With my left hand, I would play the blocked. With my right hand, I would break it apart. What if I did an E minor 7th chord? What if I did an E flat minor 7th chord? What if I did a D minor 7th chord? What if I did a C minor 7th chord? Do you see what I'm doing? I'm going from one minor 7th chord to the next, and essentially, in jazz music, they would refer to it, remember how I talked about the numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7? Well, this would be a 2, because minor 7th, we have C major 7th, then D minor 7th. It's the second in the major scale. So if I just did minor 7th to minor 7th, I could go from any minor 7th chord in any key, and they refer to it as a 2-2 modal jazz progression. Watch this. I hope you've enjoyed this little video just to help you understand how it really does not take a whole lot of time to begin to sound like a jazz musician. You can start playing modal jazz music like this in minutes. And it really is simple. I encourage you to learn as much as you can about music theory, learn about scales, learn about chords, intervals. These are the building blocks of music theory. It's the foundation. And that's why I like to come up with these videos, these piano fundamentals, to teach music theory the fun way. I love music theory, and I have several music theory books I've created to help teach music students about this. But I'd love to have you really understand that once you begin to know the chords, you begin to know your scales, and you begin to understand what you can do with it, that is when the music and the magic begins. Because I tell students, if you know this is a C minor 7th, and you know this is a D minor 7th, that's fantastic. But who cares? What good does that do you if you know that C, E flat, G, B flat is a C minor 7th, and you know that D, F, A, C is a D minor 7th, that is wonderful. But unless you can apply it, see, it's taking that music theory 
and beginning to apply it. It's the practical application of music theory is what I refer to it. And that's why I call these piano fundamentals. I want you to have fun, but I want you to know what you're doing. I want you to know why you're doing it and how to do it. And then you can start creating music of your own. Hope you have fun. Watch this video. Share it with a family member or a friend who would like to know how to sound like a jazz musician in minutes. Hope you guys have a great time. See ya. Bye. I'd love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is youtube.com slash Gerald Simon. And every week I come out with brand new videos. If you know any piano teachers or piano students or parents of piano students who are looking for resources, I have a lot of resources on my website, musicmotivation.com. And also my other website I created, coolsongsclub.com. These are resources that I created for piano students. I began composing what have now become known as cool songs to help motivate and inspire piano students of all ages. I have a free PDF download that you can download that has 113 pages and it has 20 ways on how to motivate teens especially to play the piano and have fun playing the piano. But it also includes a section on an introduction to jazz it talks about basic music theory concepts, scales, intervals, chords, but then I also have some jazz pieces that I've composed, and then I have an additional 30 cool songs from my previous Cool Songs Club that I came out with from previous years. If you'd like to, you can join the monthly subscription of my Cool Songs Club. It's six ninety five per month, and every month I come out with one to two new cool songs, complete with minus tracks, and three to four new cool exercises, and I think you'll really enjoy it. Hope you have fun. Watch this video. Share it with a family member or a friend who would like to know how to sound like a jazz musician in minutes. Hope you guys have a great time. See ya. Bye.